Hey guys, what's up? Christian back here with another video and today we are going to be talking about reverbs and delays and what my process is for um, getting that accomplished. So I created a vocal track. We can take a listen to it real quick. I did it for demonstration purposes only. It's not a singing track. It's just a test track. So let's go ahead and take a listen to that. Check, check, test, vocal, check, one, two. This is a test. Check, one, two. All right, so that is our vocal track we are working with today. I just did it real quick before I, I started filming this video. So let's do command equals for my Mac people. So in your mix window, you're going to notice your vocal track, or in this case, everyone's different. You may have a vocal track, you may have a snare track, you may have acoustic guitars, anything you want to add reverb and delays to, essentially, this applies to you. You'll notice on your track you have inserts and you have sends. This is going to be the focal point of the video today. So for inserts, I'm going to say right out the gate, Inserts I like to use only for compressors and EQs. I have in the past have put directly reverb on here. Maybe for a track that doesn't necessarily need a lot of reverb automation or if it's just like a one track deal like a podcast or or what have you. If, if it's a small session and you can get away with adding a reverb on an insert, it's not necessarily wrong, but... I liked to do it the way that I'm going to show you how to do it. And so let's just reserve these four EQs and a compressor. I'm not going to get into the EQ and compressor settings just because this is for demonstration purposes only. Okay, so you have your track, you have your reverb, and you have your, uh, you have your, excuse me, you have your EQ and compressor. And now you want to add a reverb. So what you're going to do is Command Shift N. You're going to add a new track, but this time you're going to add a stereo aux track. Actually, let's add two of those. I should have hit two, so you can actually create two. I forgot about the delay. So now we have our two aux tracks, right? So we'll name one of them reverb and we'll name the other one delay and to toggle back and forth like that is just command and arrow left right arrow now that you have your aux tracks you're going to want to do an insert so reverb we'll do deverb since it's your uh, stock plugin everyone should have it we're going to do a medium plate with a, let's say, a two second decay. And we'll make it about, let's say, 60% wet. And then on here, go to your delay. We'll do mod delay three. That's the Pro Tools. Now, delays are tricky because. I like to sync my delays up to uh, the song. There's functions where you can do tap delay, uh, which is very uh, useful. Uh, for the sake of convenience, we'll just do a quick uh, preset, which I don't recommend defaulting to presets. I'm only doing it for the sake of the video. Your delay settings are going to be whatever you need them to be. But for this video, let's just do a quick preset. Now that you have your reverb and your delay channel, now you're going to want to go to your inputs, your bus, and see I already have on uh, my buses 7 and 8 is delay, 9 and 10 is reverb. So choose that. It may look like bus 9 and 10, or you could choose any bus. You can theoretically choose bus 1 through 2, 3 through 4. As long as your input on your aux channel is the same as your send bus, you'll be okay. But since I already have it, we'll do reverb. We'll do delay. Now, whatever track you want reverb and delay on, 
you're going to go to the send section right here. Go to bus or reverb. Delay. So now you have your reverb, your, your audio track right here, our vocal track that we created, is being sent to this reverb aux track, which has an insert for deverb. Also being sent to delay, which has the stock delay plugin. So signal flow is important. Um, it's very easy to mess this up if you just uh, if you don't pay attention, which I've done that before, and um, it can get messy. Um, but this is pretty simple. If you take my advice, this is the best way to do this because if you do what I've done in the past and add delays and reverbs on the inserts and you have multiple tracks in a session that have the same setup, EQ, compression, reverb, delay, you're going to bog your computer processing down. It's going to make Pro Tools freak out sometimes and crash. If you don't have a super powerful computer, it will crash. I'm letting you know now, it will crash. And when Pro Tools crashes and it overloads um, and you go and play your track again, it's going to sound like a robotic, distorted mess. And then you have to quick, you have to quit Pro Tools, reload everything, and hopefully that doesn't happen in front of one of your clients. Um, God forbid. So I recommend creating stereo aux tracks for your effects that are not EQ and compression. It will save your life and it's more organized. Um, so let's look at our reverb send. You'll notice that the fader is down. And when we play our track back, notice how you won't get any reverb. Check, check, test vocal. Check one, two. It's dry right now because your fader is down. So let's play that vo uh, vocal track again and we'll start raising this reverb fader. Check, check, test vocal. Check one, two. This is a test. Perfect. You now have reverb. It's, this is good. It's, it means you, you're doing something right. It's a good thing to have signal like that. Now delay, let's try delay. Delay fader is down. Command equals to toggle between both windows. Get that burned in your brain, command equals. Let's play our track back. Check, check, test, vocal, check one, two. This is a test, check one, two. And we have delay, just like that we have our reverb in our delay. Another thing I like to do is solo safe. Solo safe your um, your your tracks just in case uh, you're, you go and solo a track and it, it mutes this. Once you do that, um, it'll bypass that function essentially. So if you hit command click on those tracks, um, it will not bypass if you solo a track. So if you have a track such as her vocal being sent, um, solo safe is gonna be a godsend on these tracks. And that is pretty much the video for today. I hope you guys got something out of it. And uh, I know that uh, it can be easy to throw these effects on an insert because it's right there in front of your face. But trust me, this is the most effective and most efficient way to handle your effects such as reverb and delay and many others. It could be distortion, flangers, you know, whatever you need to do to make your track sound awesome. I suggest doing it in this fashion. And if you like the video, hit like, subscribe for more tutorials like this on Pro Tools. And uh, I hope you have a great day.